Are you, are you serious? Okay, he does. Yeah, 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 okay. She's not had the best last few days, okay? So let's check telegrams before we try and hit up the treasure spots. <sighs> Newspaper. Cameron Smith also said, I think you should work on your story series and we can pay you for them on a freelance basis like this would be better given your desire to focus on a specific thread. We can always move forward following freelance if your journalistic desires expand. Regards, Constance. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> the telegram. Realize I can play a little game here. I question whether you even remember my name after the conversation we've had previously. As for the help, I intend to speak to some of the sheriffs on your behalf in the hopes of getting you a badge one day. Whoa! I'm pretty sure that this was... Kai? <sighs> oh, I sure hope it is. I hope it's Kai. <clears throat> well, now you give me more to faith than making a mistake again and mixing up people I rarely ever get the pleasure of speaking with. When I'm already so good at mixing up people I know fairly well. Either way, your help would be much appreciated. I just feel my optimism draining away, unfortunately. I don't want to give up hope, though. Never give up. Regards, Saffron. Is that not the deputy from yesterday with the stash? I think so. Howdy. You know what? I need to ask around for that Ezekiel fella. Because maybe, just maybe, if I can get in contact with him, he can talk to the fella who took my gun and get it back to me. Because he... That Ezekiel guy... I had taken treasure hunting. He paid me for it. He was nice enough. And then he robbed the bank with me as a hostage. So... Maybe if I appeal to his good nature, which I definitely saw some of. Well, it might be, it might not be. Uh, Saffron doesn't know, but she figures she can ask. I don't know, and Saffron doesn't know. So it still is something we can decide to do. Is that Mart here? Here. What's that? I thought I heard you. Oh, hey, how you doing? I <sighs> sent you a telegram. Oh, you did? Yeah, just checking them to see oh. how you were. If you uh. had any troubles or anything. <laughs> uh. I mean, you look you look fine. I am mostly fine. Well, don't tell me you got robbed yet. Well, then I guess I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Here, let me. Well, you don't want to drink. Let's see if they. Oh, ah! shit. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 mm -hmm. yep. My apologies. Just keep them on my toes, I see. Yeah, yeah. Just making mm -hmm. sure you're uh, on your toes. I was trying to. I was trying to see if they had any coffee over here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to look at over here. All right. all right. Well, at least we didn't get everybody all. Railed up. up. Sure. <laughs> well, besides me beating, uh, you know, choking you. <laughs> uh, no, I was taken uh, hostage for a bank robbery, and they decided to relieve me of my rifle again. So, I yeah, um, 
dirt you know, poor, and at least I had. At least I had another gun in my bank account. Or oh, wait, you you ain't you don't even have a gun. You don't even have a pistol. I've got one, but I keep it stored on my horse because I'm afraid it gets stolen away. All right. That, that's <sighs> that's got awful. You want anything to eat? Uh, I probably a good idea. You want to go? Uh, you want to go off in a mine or something? I mean, get out of get out of town <sighs> and wait for everything. I probably should. I just. It's so much standing around, and I feel like all I do is work and work and work, and then lose everything. And thank you. It's your thing. I you know the worst part about well, the worst and the best part, I suppose, is I'm pretty sure that it was Tommy Two Snakes and his group that took me hostage for the bank. Well, maybe they call it even now. I, I sure hope so, because I sure couldn't do anything to me then, because, you know, they had to rely on me to get out of there. <sighs> That's alright, That's not the first time I've been taken hostage for something, and I'm sure it won't be the last. Well, did they hurt you at all? Other than throwing me on the ground a few times, no. Some I suppose burns. that's pretty good. Aye. Not just a whole lot of pointing their rifles right in my head and threatening, no. Yeah, well, I mean, bank robberies, can, from what I understand, can be pretty pretty dangerous affairs. People usually are, you know, uh, there's a natural point of conflict, I guess, with the sheriff's office if they uh, get there. In time. I know, they, they were right there the whole time. I'd just been moping about in the saloon and they just came in through the back door and tied me up and took me across the street to the bank. Did they realise it was you? Oh, I'm, I'm quite sure of that they did, but they were they were all really scared to see things. I'm sure they were afraid they were going to be identified if they spoke, so only one fella did the speak in. That was a fella who's known to be Two Snakes' his brother, and the fella who was standing across the room definitely looked like Two Snakes. I'm pretty sure I heard him whisper near me. But I didn't come. Either way, they caught two. They caught two of the three other people who were there. And, of course, neither of the people they caught were the ones who had my rifle. <laughs> Saffron. Hope all's well. Did those men catch up with you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Uh, I, sorry, stepped out. Yeah, it's alright. I figured you probably went across the street. Mm. I just finished up my stew anyway. Oh, I. So you want to uh, you want to head north, or you want to uh, what do you want to do? I mean, if you're if you're you know hurt hurting for money. I did I kind of know more? Sure. Why not? Otherwise, we could maybe try to find this, uh, you know, find Tommy and, you know, talk to him and see if you're square. Go find him? Yeah, I mean, That I sounds could, I, like I, a bad idea. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. Probably better to just get out of the way. Besides, if he, uh, if he was involved in some bank robbery nonsense, he's probably got the law on his tail anyways. My, he's probably on the run. Yeah. Best not to bump into a man whenever he's desperate. No. Um. All right. I mean, unless you got something, you, unless you got another idea of like how. No, you I, I don't. I just I, nothing goes my way. Nothing pans out. <laughs> so I might as well try and do what I can do to. I don't know kind of anymore. I tried to play for the newspaper and <laughs> they were interested in the series that I was interested in doing and they'd like to pay me freelance for that but they don't, they don't want to hire me on. <laughs> they decided right. not to hire me on Okay. And without what, any what? reasons given or anything and just 
Well, maybe maybe the freelance is kind of like a test. See how interested you really are. No, it's just like being deputized, I suppose, in the state I came from. Willing to use me, but not to support me. They won't... Then I can't... I just don't know anymore. I can't get anything done or accomplished. Every time I think I'm getting ahead, I get knocked back down. One step forward, two steps back. Yeah, it's got to be incredibly frustrating. I can hear it in your voice. Hey. Well, the only thing I can think of is just, uh, just get back at it. Keep, keep picking yourself up. Keep doing the same thing that you're doing that's not working. I just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over again. Pour every cent you've got into getting a rifle, get it taken away. <laughs> Move states, hoping that things will change. <laughs> See that they don't. Well, maybe I've just been lucky. I ain't run into the wrong people. Mm. I perhaps some of us just aren't lucky. And then uh, the natives, because uh, it done showed them that uh, crazy circle. Mm hmm. The natives then shared with me some another circle around that had like uh, a whole bunch of faces of their elders carved into these trees in like a circle. And boy, did it I mean, felt, <laughs> after having stepped inside that other circle, it sure felt a lot more peaceful than in that uh, circle than with, the other the, one. with the faces. Yeah. Now, I could swear one fellow was winking at me. <laughs> and I didn't say nothing to him. But, and uh, I, was, I was with this fellow named the Elder. And he done sing like some sort of native, like chant, like some sort of spiritual chant. I uh, made the hairs on the back of my head just like rise up. And ain't that many of them. <laughs> you sure about that? You look like you got a pretty good head head of hair there. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know, I mean, it, it starts to get a little, it's starting to get a little thin up, up top there. I so it goes, I suppose. Yep, yep. Anyways, uh, and then uh, we went into town, and I guess, uh, I guess Tom has been, uh, I guess there's been some potential trouble with one of his members of his gang and some of the, like some native girl or Something like that. I didn't get catch the whole drift of it. Right. Uh, but they confronted him in town in, in Black in uh, Valentine, and then uh, then it turned out they was gonna so they they was taking me up to the reservation. They were gonna show me up like what it's like on the inside of a teepee, and we were gonna have a nice smoke. And I mean, I, I thought that was kind of pretty nice of them. And then uh, found out that they invited Tom in along, and I figured, you know, given the way things are, I better not. Uh, Better not be seen. So uh, I excused myself and got well, out of there before Tommy. You, you, you didn't have to. You didn't have to give up. Yeah, well, I felt I felt like, like it was gonna be a little awkward, given that uh, given that I know, you know, I know who Tommy is. Played cards with him a couple of times, and uh, you know, and you having your situation with him. So I figure, well. If I if I'm gonna be sharing a TP and they're gonna be all talking honest, like I'm gonna probably give them a piece of my mind. Maybe I don't want to do that mm. just yet, you know. I suppose so. Especially not without talking to you, cause uh, that could put you in more harm's way if, if I go running my mouth. Well, I I mean, who knows? But I sort of doubt that he knows that we're friends. I, I think I can. Yeah, well, I don't think he does either. But you know, point is, is I didn't want to. I didn't want to speak on your behalf without any permission to speak on your behalf, of course. Oh, uh, all right. I appreciate that, I suppose. Yeah. Um, Anyways, I mean, I'd, I figured I'd, if I if I was going to talk to him, I was going to just ask him, like, you know, what's it going to take to, you know, it seems like a pretty minor thing, and maybe he th should have thought better about what he was going to go do. So, uh, you know, maybe $150 to take care of it. 
settle the square, you know. That's not okay. Well, I'm not really a fan of paying off criminals for being criminals, giving them money and rewarding them for that. Yeah, but uh, you know, he might have. I don't know. I guess I'm thinking. Well, maybe he, uh, maybe he'd take that as an apology and move on, as opposed to trying to take something else. Maybe perhaps, but I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't exactly say it's an apology because I'm not sorry for doing the right thing. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, part of it, part of it, if I talk to him, would be uh, that he ought to be a little bit smarter about who he's running around showing things to. Aye, especially he can't because be expect, his... he can't be expecting that people ain't going to, you know, live their life. And in fact, he should be expecting that most people would do exactly what you did. We had a conversation right before there where I told him. I told him that I was wanting to be a deputy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> and then so he pretty, proceeded. Pretty dumb on, yeah, I, pretty dumb on his part. Complete idiot. Yeah. Right. I agree. I mean, that's why I was gonna throw some of it back on him and see if I can just get him to cool his heels. I don't can. I don't know. So, do you happen to know a fella named Ezekiel? No. No. Mm. Hadn't heard of. Him. Yeah. That ain't one of the preachers, is it? Uh, I, I don't know, I just know that I met an older fella named Ezekiel. He said that he is a prospector and a miner. Oh, I know who you're talking Wait, about. Wait, you He's do? Eye patch. Eye uh, patch he might have. Hair. Uh, he might have. And he's got a unique sounding voice. A fairly unique sounding voice. Sort of older. Yeah, I've been in a saloon where he was, uh, he was going on and on talking. I just kind of let him talk. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't uh, really reveal much about oh, Snake. What was he going on and on about? About uh, he was going on and on about mining. I, uh, like he was. Oh, aye. Like he was. What was what was odd about him was to me was that some people were like asking how to make money or what have you, and then he just started going on and on about mining and where you can find locations and all kinds of stuff like that. And I was like, well, mm. how how do you you know how do you know they're just not looking for a way to. You know, somewhere to rob people. I you know, true. You know, you don't you don't know. I mean, and why would you be telling talking about claims and things like that out in the middle of a open saloon? Well, either Doesn't way, seem like it's too uh, smart to me. Either way, I met him. Uh, he went to buy one of my treasure maps, and so I took him out to show him the location, and I showed him another place that where he could seek out. You know caches and stuff like that all right and he seemed nice enough although he did mention something about since he last got out of Siska, which i thought you know not that big a deal i, I believe that people can change yeah I mean, just because sometimes not going to judge them too much for having been in prison uh, yeah we don't yeah especially when you don't know why i went there Aye. And all that but I did overhear that one of the t one of the two robbers that robbed the bank and took me hostage was named Ezekiel, and I'm not quite sure if it's the same person or not. Hmm. But did it sound the same? I couldn't hear their voices. I just overheard someone saying, "Oh, so your name's Ezekiel," hmm. like that. All right. Well. Uh... So, but the thing is. <laughs> I ain't never heard that name as far as uh, you know Tommy or anybody else that that's you know that I know of that knows him talk about like that. So. I'd like to try and get his telegram, something like that, because there's a good chance that he knows who the other person was, the person who has my rifle. <laughs> yeah, all right. And he seemed nice enough that he might be willing to get it back from me. I don't can. You never know. Could always ask though. Well, I mean, if but then if again, if he's running around with two snakes, who knows? He might just be looking for an opportunity to snatch me off the sidewalk. And <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, if you had a long conversation with him, and of course, uh, you know, you, you don't know who Tom has shared his business with. Aye. But I don't know that about everyone. I mean, could be anyone if he has. Yeah, strange things about people like that is they show one face to one some people and they show another face to others, right? 
told me two faces rather than two snakes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I suppose it, I suppose that could fit. Well, even the worst sorts of people are good to the people who they care about, generally speaking. Oh, yeah. They're still, they're still people. There's still grace in that. Well, there's always, uh, it's, pr it's partly why a lot of people have trouble believing, like, so-and-so is, oh, come on, so-and-so didn't rob a bank. You know, that's not him. That's not what he, he wouldn't shoot anybody. You know? Aye, because they know a different side of them. Right. Either that or they, they, they choose to only see a different side of them. Aye. You're eight. Right. Is that those rocks again? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. Yeah, Nugget just got excited and then he jumped into the biggest rock that he could find. <laughs> okay, you give me just one quick second. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. That's my fault. That's I'm my so fault. sorry. I... No, it's my fault. I'll stop right in the middle of the road <sighs> like a dumbass. Give me, give me just one second. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'll try not to follow right behind you. <laughs> well, I will say, uh, I will say one thing as a, a testimony to uh, your character there, Miss Sephron. What? What's that? Well, given what you done told me a little bit about your uh, your history. Running around the wrong crowd and all that. I imagine you've uh, settled a few scores before. The fact that you ain't uh, riding out after Tommy or anybody else that done harmed you. Well, I mean, I don't know, I'm just one person, but I don't think that ever really solves anything either. People just keep going somebody's back and up, forth. Somebody's up here. I see that. I see a horse right there. Hey, you want to, uh, you want to keep going or you want to go back to that other place? I mean, they might be friendly. I could always All talk right. to them. I'm not too concerned. I don't know. All right. Anybody oh, in here? One second. Don't mean no trouble. Anybody in here? Good old Hagen. Yeah. What? Hey. How you doing? Yeah, doing all right. Don't mean no trouble. We're just coming up here to do a little bit of mining. How about yourself? Me as well, sir. Me as well. All right. And hey, what's your name, fella? I'm uh, name's Marty. Marty, I'm Alfred. Alfred. All right. Nice all right. Nice yeah, to meet nice you. to meet you as well. How, how you been? You been all right? There... I've been doing great. Yeah. Your but, horse uh... is uh, your horse is up on top of the cliff up there doing like oh. some just some some sort of uh, you know, kind of I don't know. It looks like it's kind of pretend like it's a billy goat. Oh, Al, uh, yeah, Rebel, he's kind of a character. He's kind of a stupid-ass horse, but you know what? He does the job. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, we didn't want to uh, frighten you or anything like that. I'm sure you probably, when you heard voices, you probably like, oh, oh yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, I kind of got spooked a little bit, but, oh, yeah. um, right. you know. Well, I well, appreciate you not coming up here with the gun out or nothing like that. No, so. no, no. All right. I'm going to go put these on my horse, and I'll be right back inside. But uh, you oh, guys yeah. stay safe, all right? Yeah, we'll just be in here working, all right? <laughs> Perfect. All right. You guys right. stay safe. Yep. Hey, there's finally one piece of gold. There you go. Maybe your luck turn around. Hey, maybe. It's really hard to think that it will, though, when you've had years of the same. <laughs> Yeah, you know how you was talking about that other 
other place and everything and what happened to you afterwards and all the critters that was trying to buy, bite you and everything. Right. I mean, and <laughs> there's only so much that a person can take before they break. <laughs> I, it's probably pretty close to your break point, I bet. That was, that really was. The place I was living, leaving was a prison. I'd just been released. I figured as much the way you said it. That could have been a lot of, uh, well, ain't a lot of fun. No. <laughs> Especially when you're serving time for stuff that you didn't do, stuff that you didn't even play to. You didn't even plead to it? No. I had been on... Like I said, I had to turn on the people who I was with because, I mean, really they had pretty much imprisoned me anyways. And I, I finally found there were the wherewithal to do something about it. The law there ushered me into a secure building and told me that I had to confess every single thing that I knew that I'd ever been involved with or that they'd ever done and that that would be my best chance of not going away for a really really long time and that would be my best chance of getting them all behind bars so they couldn't hurt me and so I told them things and I mean, one was, it was murder I'd witnessed, but been too afraid to report at the same time. And besides, I thought that people already knew. And so they charged me for murder. Because <laughs> I was there, even though it was something that I was, <laughs> that I was actively trained to stop when it happened trying to stop it from happening. It sounded like they was they was uh they I, weren't being too uh too soft on you. I guess not. I've heard it was the uh, attorney general or the assistant who did it had did, did paperwork wrong but by the time that I discovered that there'd been such an error. Look, I didn't even know that's what I was going away for. <laughs> By the time I discovered the Attorney General had moved on, he wasn't around, he couldn't be contacted, and the only witnesses were people who hated me and wouldn't be dead, so there's nothing I could do to take it back to the courts or anything. Well, that seems pretty unjust. Hey. Did deputies know that um, that it was going on, or they just look at paperwork and they see a charge, and that's all they see. There are some who didn't, some who were willing to look past it, but in the end, I mean. <laughs> Their deputy marshal was sleeping with with one of the leaders of the gang that I was with and she was on their side. So well, how the hell how the hell did they allow that to happen? I didn't can. I mean, how, how the hell do you expect to put you know, put me in prison for something when you're when you're out there uh, you know you're that's You're why I left that a, state. Yeah, I can't. I, that just don't seem like uh, so much corruption. Like good policy to me. No. I suppose that's the problem with the law. You get good men. You get bad men. And then you get men that are 
I think they're on a crusade. I, I think that I got people who were so wrapped up in I think then that they could use me to take down this gang. <laughs> and then I, I had to. I couldn't testify. Because <laughs> they would have. They absolutely would have murdered me then. From, from my own safety, I couldn't testify, so they couldn't completely pardon me. Though they did take take a lot of us still spent time behind bars as I said uh, so that's probably what they hung over your head you gotta show up to court help us put all these other people away and then we'll give you a uh, it would have been a death sentence uh, yeah <laughs> they nearly hang, hung me in a tree <laughs> so it was first degree murder then that, uh, that they charged me with I, I didn't can. I'm not sure. I don't think I ever really saw the paperwork. It was a boy who tried to rub me and I mentioned it to the gang leader and apparently had successfully rubbed somebody else in the gang and so we went looking for him and I thought we were just going to talk to him. And I was begging him and begging him and begging him. I said, please don't hurt him. <laughs> My goal, because one of the deputies, before we left town, one of the deputies actually came up to us and he said, you know, if if you're to bring that fella back into town and he's a wee bit bruised, I won't be, I'll, you know, I'll be looking the other direction if you just drop him off on, on the porch here at the sheriff's office. And so I thought that's what we were going to do. I thought we were going to bring him into town. And I begged and I begged and I begged and I begged. I begged Ethan to, to let me take him back in town. Because <laughs> actually, I had split off. I found him before then and I was going to get him to town because I didn't want Ethan to do something to him. And I went off to have a conversation and that's when he really laid into me going, that I wasn't meeting his expectations and uh, I was shining a bad light in the king and it had me so scared because what they'd done to me in the first place and the whole reason I was there I just I was I was just walking the edge all the time not knowing if if they were gonna kill me or if they had been sincere when they said that they cared about me <laughs> I just chose to believe that they cared about me because it was the easiest thing to believe it hurt the least and what do you think now oh no they definitely did not the moment i turned on them they said all the most vile things that could ever be said to a person i went from we love you saffron to saying words I can't repeat at the mere mention of my name. <sighs> they did they had us hold up inside a sheriff's department for <sighs> I must have been days. It was just two deputies they couldn't get any help and there were six of them out there with shotguns and making threats and finally I just I went with them and they took me d deep in the, in the woods and sat me on the back of a horse and strung a rope around my neck and maybe promised not to testify so he was going to hang you right then and there you didn't I mean what else did what else could you do you had no choice I had threatened to do terrible things to everyone that I knew and I loved and make me watch and all sorts of things and I just they're such a large gang that there's nothing I could do against them 
they want me to leave town, any town that I was in, if I happen to see one of their members there. I even actually left the state for a month then, just trying to let things cool down. And the first week I was back, I was just helping guard a wagon train that was going to a disadvantaged area of the state. And they started harassing me then. And then they tracked me down and gave me a beating out there to take my warm clothes that was snowy. <laughs> told me that I'd been in town when one of them was in town. I didn't even know. I was in a gang that was so large I didn't even know most of the members. So I couldn't even know who was in town who I was in town with. Yeah, I think that's something that uh, a lot of people don't realize, you know, is that uh just cuz there might be four or five people running around in a gang, they got a lot more friends willing to uh, try to get in their good graces, you know? Oi, they made, they made sure that I knew that. They said, I've had five people telling me where you are today, Saffron. That sort of stuff. There's always people yeah. feeding them information because they just want to get in good with the gang. They're always so eager. Yeah, it's, not, it's not that they uh, necessarily want to join them. It's just that they want to... They think that, like, if I do favors for them... Aye. Then uh, and then I need I got somebody coming after me. Then I can go to them and ask them for a favor in return. Hey, mm. something. Either that or they're just trying to suck up to them because they figure in some way that, uh, well, if I if if I do things for them, then I'm gonna be their friend and you know they won't rob me or hurt me. Of I... course, it don't always play out that way, do it? Unfortunately, there are people in the world that are just use other people. Just kind of what they are, who they are. And they'll be all nice to you. They'll push whatever button they think they got to push. I mean, hell, it, it don't matter whether it's crime or, or even just like a relationship. I've seen it happen, you know, down. Well, heck, it, I mean, it happens down at the, in the saloons every night. But. Hey. Like I said, I think there there was some deputies who were just trying to use me to bring down the gang and you know, once I didn't have a potential once they didn't think that I could be used as some sort of informant or something like that, they just sort of didn't care anymore. Not true of all of them, there was a few who did care a whole lot. No one in particular who passed away before anything could be done. I was even deputized for the department a few times, but they wouldn't hire me on. Even though yeah, I was I don't want, shot I don't down that. for them. I was shot down for them. I was even hunted down by one of the what? kings who I was deputized against and punished for doing it. What they what they say about that? <laughs> they just wrote it up in the paperwork. Deputized me again the next time they had trouble with them, but again they never they wouldn't hire me. Well, I mean, I'd have been asking like, well, why? Why why won't you hire me, kids? I mean, I've been out there. We shouldn't shed blood together now. That's because of my criminal history, I suppose. Even though they had a a legal yeah, system well, in place for wiping that clean, it didn't seem to matter. Months and months and months, it didn't matter. Now, they don't sit right with me. Well, I suppose it's their loss. Too much junk in the bank account. I <laughs> do. Yeah. I keep accumulating card packs that no one's buying so I need to do something different like I said it, it just like nothing's panning out <laughs> right no really thought intended. that 
I really thought that 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 the newspaper job was going to be something. I just. Well, I mean, it still can be. I, mean, I, can, I, I don't know. It I feels just... like, to me, it feels like more people want to use me but not support me, just like being deputies. Well, and just because they're saying it's freelance don't mean that you ain't getting paid for it. No, that's... Uh, I, Unless I'm reading that wrong. No, Unless I it's, don't understand. It's taking what they want but not backing me up. I... I I, oh, I see. It's it's about the respect. Hey, it's I, I don't I can. I, it just rubs me the wrong way a lot. Well, did they hire anybody? I don't I can. I I I think that the people who run it are typically awake when I'm not. Just like the trains, <laughs> which is why I can't do anything with the trains. Oh, they, they won't allow you to become like a train conductor? I, I don't, I can't, I can't even talk to the people. Horse and see if I got anything that, uh, I can put on my horse. Alright. I, I mean, we don't have to stay, I don't really care too much. Just sort of frustrate with life. So... Maybe hitting a wall will do, does me some good. Since I've seen, I've only seen two diamonds since it's been a while. I found one once. I had it kept in my bank, but I gave it to the doctor when she checked on my head after I got <laughs> robbed up at Butcher's Creek. Oh, the Butcher's Creek thing, mm -hmm. yeah. I just did one thing after another. 